Good morning, good morning, everybody. This is your favorite author, Lashika L. Hollingsworth. Just coming in today to let everybody know who the winner is of one of my books, autographed copy of one of my books. It is going to be, drum roll, or twerk, whatever you're trying to do. Of course, it's going to be Have Faith Over Fear. Thank you so very much. You have by the end of the day to DM me your actual address, whether it's your P.O. box or just your regular regular um, mailing address. I should have that out by Friday, again, by the end of the day. Y'all know how it is at church. If the person um, doesn't come up who actually won the raffle, we go on to the next person. But I really would like for you to have the book. Um, again, thank you so very much for subscribing, for your kindness in the comment section. And um, there will be more giveaways in the far off future, y'all. Yeah, not right now, because of course the rules were somebody has to go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment, and of course go over to the Instagram and, you know, follow. But I understand, no big deal, no big deal. Somebody else will, of course, want a copy of one of the books. Okay, now on to anything else. Let's see what else I need to talk about. Okay, let's talk about these people and they driving. I don't know what's going on. It was raining cats and dogs this morning here in the Houston, Texas area. Whatever happened to slowing down because of the rain? Whatever happened to that? People decide that, oh, I'm going to be late for work. If you knew you had to be at work for 8 o'clock, you should have left a long time ago. So why drive on the back of my bumper? Because you're late. That's not my problem. So let's just talk about slowing down, being a little bit more patient, leaving early enough to where you can get to work on time to where you're not riding the back of somebody's vehicle. How about that? Let's, let's not do that. Don't do that. that. That's not okay. And it does cause a lot of problems. We all know. I know it's not just Houston. It's a lot of other cities as well where road rage is serious. And in a way, it's starting to become the norm. I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. It, it's not nothing on this planet that important to where you got to nearly hit the back of somebody's vehicle, lose your life, go to jail, and then from jail to prison. It's not necessary. Take your time and don't cause me to get in no car accident or the next man or next woman. It's not that serious. We had this pastor that just got killed in Houston. Come on, y'all. It's not necessary. Take your time. My daddy, who's gone on to be with the Lord, simply stated, hey, whatever you got to get to can wait. It's not worth your life. It ain't worth you being in prison. Take your time. It can wait. You're going to get to work. You're going to get to wherever you're trying to get to. Trust and believe me. Take your time so you can live to see the next day. So you can actually get to your job and make your coin to where you can pay your bills. Because we all got some bills. Trust me. They already sent them in the mail. I've seen them. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day. You know, um, just be kind to people. It's not necessary to it's not necessary to go out to be driving around here killing people. Because you gotta get somewhere in two point two minutes. So 10 minutes or 30 minutes. That pastor had had family to go to. He didn't deserve to lose his life. It's, it's a senseless. It's, 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 it don't make sense, you know, to, to take somebody's life because you got to get somewhere. What's the point? Go around. Take your time. Oh, man. It's scary out here. And nobody seems to care. All of y'all could have saw what I just saw. Why did they do that? Take y'all time, honey. You gonna get there. Ain't no reason to be jumping and running through a light, child. It is not that serious. Patience is a virtue. Anyway, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I looked away from the camera, did I? And I looked up in the street. 
watching how these people driving. It don't make no kind of sense. Anyway, I will be um doing a little bit more with the, the Kindle Vela. And um, there will be more information on that in the upcoming weeks. Um, and I have, have a few other things I need to talk about as well. But um, right now, I'm really, really, really trying to go ahead and focus on my writing. I have a lot of things I want to put out. I really do. And I'm pretty much excited about it. Um, I've just really been sitting in a, in a place in my, in my life right now where I'm like, I know I have a lot to give. I'm getting back out there and, and doing what I really, really like to do. I've, I've taken a pause because of life. That's just the truth. I think I told y'all that in, um, in a previous video. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and just do what I need to do. Some days I have a push and some days I just, I don't know what to write. I really don't because I have other issues going on, other things in my head that cause me to just take a pause. But I'm just going to get back out there. It's going to take time. I'm learning to just just take my time. You know, um, I don't have to play catch up with everybody else. That ain't what it's about. When you get to a certain age, you ain't trying to be like be like Susie Q and and Tutu and them, I'm just making up names, y'all, you know, or Tay Tay and them. I'm not trying to be like nobody else. That way of thinking is in, you know, in, in them 20s. Oh, I feel like I got to catch up. I feel so behind, this, this, and that. I got to be on that level, be on that level because they doing this and they doing that. No, child, ain't nobody got time for that. We're all in different places in our lives right now. We all are. And ain't nobody going to be like the next man or next woman. Do you? Don't lose your don't lose your hell. Don't lose your mind because somebody else bought a new car or somebody else have bought a house or whatever the case may be. Be you. You ain't gotta be nobody else. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. You know, um, just just take your time, do you. That's what I'm doing right now in my life. Honey, these 40s, they 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 move differently. They they think different. You know, they make you look over your life. And make you say, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? What was I doing? You know, like, really? what Was it really that serious? And it was not. It was not. So I'm truly grateful, and I want y'all to be more grateful. Take, take your time, y'all. You're going to get what you need to get. God has a plan for your life. Every morning you wake up and you're able to do this, you good. So take your time, write that book, do whatever else you're trying to do. Be that, entre that big entrepreneur, do whatever you're trying to do. Get that next job that you want, whatever it is, you're going to get there. As long as you keep pushing forward, you're going to get there. All right? Again, thanks to the actual winner, your book will be out this Friday. If you contact me, you got to contact your girl. If not, I have to move on to the next person. But um, thanks, you guys, for all that you've done for me and for everybody else. Blessings, blessings. Keep your head up. Drive right, y'all. Drive right. Okay? Bye-bye.